Hey folks, welcome back to Mountain Core and our little settlement of Noble Axe. And I, this is the screen I opened it up to, so apparently I was trying to remind myself of something from last episode, and it's pretty obvious. We had a little problem last time of these blocks just being randomly dropped around the place. I think what was happening is a dwarf would walk over and pick one up, walk a little ways and say, uh-oh, and then drop it and then still get the order to go take a box somewhere and go grab another one, then uh-oh, because of something like this. I had a number of you write in and say you found it. I didn't bother looking, but this guy right here, they can't walk through a bed. And apparently they don't build diagonally, so this guy is the problem. This needs to go away, or better yet, this needs to be mined out and then we can build it that way. Mine you like so and let's make that happen so that we can see it sooner but whenever you get randomness like that that means they're trying to deliver something and the place they need to deliver to is blocked so if you get a pile of anything and it's just just landing all over the place that means that the uh, the destination they can't get to so there was talk of finding a way under the hood to make that not happen one possibility is to just have that blueprint disappear you know try it if it fails then delete it they have the game delete it and then when you go back and realize it's it didn't get done then you can kind of troubleshoot yourself why it didn't work i didn't go looking for it because we noticed these pathways just kept disappearing through here and i figured that the snow was interacting with it they couldn't build in the snow just like they can't dig in the snow and so, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to try and dig frozen ground either. And so the blueprint was going away every, each time that they failed to bring the block to it. That was my assumption. It was also suggested that maybe they are being built, but the snow is covering it and you can't see it anymore. We are on the last day of winter, so we'll get to test that theory. But let this, let's let this guy go. I was going to fill these all back in again and complete the path. But I stopped thinking that there's more snow. It, you can build another pathway on top of this existing pathway. So that doesn't prove one way or another. If uh, someone just dropped that one, didn't they? If uh, it's not built underneath. They could just keep building it over and over again if I keep putting those in there. Now we've got it. There we go. Now I could set up a stockpile and have all these hauled to it. But we could just build some more projects and they'll pick all these up and haul into it anyway. But as soon as that gets built, put another one in. Then we'll get back to whatever we were doing. Let's check priorities on food. Let's see. Do we have... We have... We need We need to get our bread cooking. Okay. But food here. Kick you guys up. And you won't. Because you're being called by... That one calls that one. What calls that one? I don't know. Hmm. No, oh, we'll let it run. We'll see what happens. You get it done yet? You got it done. Okay. So, wall. That looks like sandstone. So, you, wall, pick. Ah. Okay, what's going on with the blocks? Were they all assigned and then when they failed, they just kind of went into limbo? Assigned to construction of sand buying pallet. Construction of... S oh. Ha, <laughs> ha. I set a whole bunch of these up to give us lots of variety of things to buy so we can start getting a little more specific. We want just this kind of that or something. Yeah, that just locked up the whole game. All right, so much for that. I could turn the priority down and it'll still not free these up because it still needs to be built. It's just not going to be built for a very long time. So that's no good either. So let's get into construction and cancel these guys. I'll put those back in later. That was the long-term plan for this. Long-term, we probably should build an actual building with big doors for the uh, for the wagons to pull into and another big door for them to exit. And yeah, we can have fun with that. Okay, so that now freed up all of this. Which, why did I... Oh, because I couldn't set this wall blueprint because it said that we had no, uh, no blocks. Let's see, build... There we go. Now they're all available again. So sandstone, wall, and that is done. Any more walls that didn't get done in here? It all looks pretty good. Love to set doors in here. Do we have more blocks or more planks at the moment? You blocks, we have 19 available planks. 
we have four available. Okay, so not a lot of either. They're all already assigned to something. And I did want to build walls down in here. That's true. And I messed up my pathways here, didn't I? Yeah, pathway looks like it should go through here, which means a door there. So you two need to move. So give me a stone, what is that, an import pallet? Import, yeah. Out of stone, any right there and there. And let's go ahead and cancel these guys. Let's see, demolish. There, we get that pathway going through there. And we'll get a wall out of... We're using predominantly sandstone down in here. So, I think it's what we have the most of right now. That can all be there. A sandstone door. Oh, I guess a basalt door will go in there. Okay, so that's for that area, and it's already dark. One speed seems too slow, but two speed... By the time I get done talking, days have gone by, so I don't know what the right balance is. Um, there was talk of this guy not getting water. That's right. Not getting water because I didn't put the last pipe in right here. Rather than it can't feed from this. So let's slow. I already slowed that down. Good. Slow that down so it'll stay. So we can test it out and find out if it can get water from this connection or if it needs to go directly up and tap the original pipe again to flow through. Can we just tap it out of that flow? Not sure. I mean, I don't think I'd want to be drinking water out of a ditch, but it was the closest point. <laughs> um, construction water pipes. Let's run you to there. That seems... Now I'll even go to there. Okay, so we'll run those and see what happens. And... Let's make that happen so we can see it. And what are we, nighttime? Three in the morning. They're just starting to get up. There you What are you up to? You are uh, mining a sandstone wall. What's up in here? Ah, queued some, some mining up in here. Queued some over here, too. Oh, you're over there. Okay. So we got lots of sandstone in the area. So that's our predominant building block right now. Otherwise, folks are going to work. Dropping off coke, picking up ingots, dropping them off somewhere right there. Picked up something else. Boy, you just... <laughs> Fun watching them. I wish there was a way, like I might even suggest it on the Discord, of a button to push somewhere. Maybe, boy, I don't know where. I don't know where would be the best place. Construction? This, maybe construction. Maybe one more icon, I don't know if it's possible, but to see the building queue, to see the queue of, of all the orders that they have to, to accomplish, to know the results of putting in a gigantic stockpile for boulders, and suddenly every boulder on the map is assigned to it, and goes into the list of all the projects that have to get done, to see what you've just done to yourself. Might be quite educational to see what's happening behind the scenes, if you could see the, the job or task list. I There are games that do that. I'm trying to remember which one that was that I used to play that... Is it RimWorld? I'm not sure. That, that you can see the, the whole the list of all the tasks that you've just stacked up on yourself and then you realize, yeah, I should probably give them time to finish these first. I really wish that we can get these guys done. Let's... Boy, disable. Wish there was a way to separate this high priority with the priority of demolish, you know, a construction priority. I'm trying to get my pathway back through here. And I guess the best way to do it is just to stop giving them orders. And they will get rid of everything in front of it and finally get to these. They need to empty these guys out. So I guess we need to tell them to stop bringing more. But then it looks like we're not wanting it demolished anymore. Did we get this guy done? He was just doing something there. Water? Yeah, we're connected now. And you have 21 available. So that does work. So is this the same graphic? Yeah, it doesn't show you water inside. But we do have water available. There's 32 available. Okay. So now if we could only get rid of these cancellation orders, but we can't. But I could just leave them 
at the lowest priority and they'll never get to the job. Though we are building the other pipes now, aren't we? Pipe view, yeah. These I can cancel. So we can get rid of that, not build that pipe. And if they never get around to this job, then this will be fine. All right, we'll work it that way. All right, foods. Why were there so few breads going on? We have got wheat. We've got stone for rock bread. If we wanted to go that route. You will set your priority up. There we go. You are calling for dough instead of dough, ration dough, which is the rock bread. So make sure we're going dough. You have nothing in the oven. And overall, we're the highest priority. We've got... Oh, that's for the grinder. We've got the... Where are you? Wheat coming in. And then flour going out. Grinder is at that rate. We have plenty of wheat, right? Wheat is this one. A flour. Plenty of flour. So we don't need more flour. Don't need to speed this up. We just need more cooks. That could possibly be it. How are we doing food-wise? We're still sitting in the 700s. Next immigration wave, which actually is tomorrow? I want to say it's day three. Yeah, we've gone from day 40 to day two with just me sitting here talking. <laughs> Next immigration wave, let's think about putting on two or three more cooks and making that a little bit higher priority. I see we found some some gems somewhere, so we'll get those ground up, or actually not ground, banged up, hammered up. Boom. Toss you in here with these guys. We got two different kinds in there now. And eventually they'll all drop into here and sell with the next traders, since we don't have anything to do with them yet. How rich are we? We've got two gold and seven silver. Not very. You are Cassiterite for making tin. So how are we doing over here? You are the bloomery we've got coming in. Cassiterite. Cassiterite, yes. So I see there was financial chimes. I want to say you were the one that wrote in and mentioned this. That it defaults to Cassiterite rather than any. Okay. So in that case, one of you and one of... Oh, let's see here. Hematite. I'm trying to remember what's on this map. We've only seen the two, haven't we? You are Cassiterite. Um... So basically red and pale blue. Your gems. Your hematite. Up in here, more gems. Pull everything out of here. That's it. So it's a matter of what we're going to discover accidentally. Okay, well two of each at the moment. But really what I was hoping for is just a uh, a place to, to dump them. So that, let's see, consider right. Okay, we'll make you hematite and you hematite. So we can get... Uh, um, bulk storage over here rather than sending them to a stockpile and then have them just sit there in limbo waiting to be hauled to the stockpile because it's after these three in the queue and we haven't gotten to those yet so I'm trying to think ahead by giving them import pallets instead of stockpiles I think it works a little better so instead of setting these guys out here we could have an extra couple of coke fuels around coke is right there so let's change you to Coke. Um, that is this one, fuel. And of the fuels, we'll take Coke. So when they pull these, they should replace that. Or I've just locked that up and they'll never do either. What happened to our... Oh, we were just starting day two. Okay. So now we're at the end of day two. Day three, we should see immigration. Day, I don't know, five, six, seven, we should see uh, trading. We've got our bedrooms pretty much all set up for that immigration. Um, let's get rid of sleep spots. Everybody should be jumping directly into beds now. Though, these are bed blueprints, not necessarily beds. That's right. Okay. We 
don't have enough beds yet. We really don't. So you are heading to that one. We still have one or two. Oh, they're heading down here. We need beds for the military. Ah, that's kind of where we were. Okay, let's get this kicked up a little bit. Let's knock this priority up and and make ourselves a uh, oh a, a group sleeping area. We'll call it a barracks for these guys. But I'm expecting immigrants today. How close is the barley? 87%, 83%. The wheat? I'm not seeing wheat. Right here. I guess we've we've already uh, cleaned it all up. Good. Carrots? 89%. 79. Food is looking pretty good. Your barley. So the boxes are the vegetables. There's carrots, there's tomatoes. Corn? No corn. Those are mushrooms. Glow mushrooms. That is more carrots. That's purple mushrooms. Those are the fist mushrooms. And the... There was another black one. The fist and the... Hmm. What are they called? I may not be able to find them now. Yeah. Doesn't give you the name of the mushroom now. It just says it's a mushroom log. So I guess we've gone through a whole cycle and we're re-inoculating logs. Okay, you guys are cleaning up down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So no cave-ins. Good. <clears throat> foods? No foods. Come on, guys. Let's think this through. Why are we having such a hard time getting foods? We did get more bread going, though. Okay, so that helps. So they're not starving. Um, how much? Still have 41 on you. Five. 23. So they still got some of their original... Um, rock bread, so you're down to three. So we haven't gone completely out of food completely enough for them to eat up their own personal supplies. Um, where are we this way? Just you. There we go. So it's just a matter of a cook getting in here. And uh, starting to grab the carrots and helmets and process them and get them into these pots. I think more cooks will help. I think they're spread out doing too many things with the addition of the bakery. We didn't add any more cooks once we added the bakery. We're day three. And noon is not the magic number. Okay. A little worried. We want immigrants. This map, this settlement will go so much better with more... Um, what are you? Why are you not planted yet? Third day of spring. Okay, let's reevaluate what's really going on here. How many cooks do we have? We have just the two. How many farmers? We have three. That's not enough. So let's add farming into here. Farming's the biggie right now. Everybody who can take it, get out there and put some seeds in the ground. I don't think you need skills to put seeds in the ground. So not the cooks, though. Uh, you're already a farmer. Cook and farmer and you. Farmer. Okay. You guys go and plant all those seeds. Of course, that's their third task, so they're not going to default to it immediately. But if they get a conflict in the other ones, they can grab some seeds and go plant something. Got all this going on, too. 14 hemp seed needs to go into there. You're hemp also, so there's one shy. You're planting it right now. Nope, you're doing pests. That's too long. What are you doing? You are... There you are. No. Where are you? Tilled earth, corn, farm. Why can't I click on you? There, Siv. You are removing pests from corn plants. Okay, no planting going on. Hmm. Raining. Still have blocks out there. All right, did we did this happen, and can we get to all of the walls? Where, which one did we just place? It wasn't that one. It was further down. Can they get to these? That might be a problem. We can reach that. Yeah, that might be a problem. Hmm. We'll wait a little while, see what happens. Just sitting here thinking about these guys right here. They're flashing, which means they've been queued up, but they're in the, they're in somebody's queue, but they're not actually happening at the moment. 
I wonder if it would help to have emptied these first. I don't know. Just wondering what's conflicting there. Seems like those have been flashing for a while. And I see these guys have not even started to flash yet. Hmm. Let's get into one more day, one more game day. Oh, we got a chance to answer a question. So those blueprints, uh, these did build. These did not. I'm trying to remember which ones had vanished. These had all vanished. Yep, they did build. They were under the snow. So we called that one correctly. Let's lay the rest of those out. That'll give all of these something to do and they won't be laying around anymore. So build you out of sandstone. That grab, yeah. So there, there. And we're already starting to queue those up. So that they like to do. You don't need to be queued up. Cancel you. You're done. See, they'll build right over the top of existing ones if you let them. Um, beyond that, I guess that's it for pathing at the moment. Where else would be good to have a path? It's not so much aesthetic. They actually walk faster. I'm thinking this run right here seems to be a pretty popular run. Yeah. So, are we still queued up on that? I think we... No, we're not. You, any, sandstone. Let's send you through. And... Let's send you through. Okay. Immigration. Oh, thank you. They did come. Go to location. Let's watch how many come in. Of course, they picked the furthest place away. One, two, three, four, five. Last time it was only four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! And traders. Oh boy. And you guys are coming in. You're just appearing out of the woods. Oh, there you are. Oh, wow, we got a good haul this time. Okay, finally some excitement. So a lot of beds. Yeah. I gotta put these back in. Until we know that we've got enough beds going on. Everyone's got a place to sleep now. But hey, we're emptied over here too. But I'll take care of that in a moment. What is actually happening here? We want leathers and we want all of the hemp bundles that we can get our hands on. And afterwards we want some of these if there's any money left over. So highest priority, middle, highest you are hops seeds. I don't think that's a priority anymore. I don't think. Hops. There's still 11 seeds unplanted. Yeah, that, that's done. So, I think we'll just pull you out of there. Okay, so any of the leathers. Um, you're now hemp, but until they pull this 14 out of here, they won't deal with the hemp. And we don't truly... Can we still get it planted? Let's go for it. You will be hemp seeds. We'll go ahead and buy those. That didn't do what I wanted. Seeds right there. And choose hemp. This one I think we're just going to abandon for the moment. Because I've noticed whenever there's something else still sitting in the palette and you change the instructions, nothing ever happens after that. So we'll just disable you, take in, hopefully somebody will pick up that coal someday. Highest priority, highest priority. So hemp, yeah, let's go with that priority there. Be nice if there's still time. We're only on day four. So I think we could get this guy all planted up and still get him harvested in time. I think we could. But I would really like to buy the hemp if we could. So this is the highest priority and this is the next highest priority. Or lesser highest priority. <laughs> okay, you guys coming in there. Our new folks are coming in here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, got that right. So we are now 24 strong. Uh, 22 strong. So are we paused when this? When I go to this screen? You're sitting right there. If I click it again, it stays. Whatever it was when you clicked on it is what it stays at. Okay. Settlers, I want two more cooks. So guaranteed you and you... Let's go one more. Five cooks. And I want two more dedicated farmers. That's probably enough. That's five farmers now. 
Well, can't really go by this because I put a bunch of, of temporary ones in there. Get five farmers total. After that, we probably need another... Well, we have six military right now. Let's go for ten total military. And equip them with a good hammer and a good battle axe. We can't do the battle axe. So it looks like we are hammers at the moment. Okay. And shields will go... Well, we'll give our, our more skilled military the better shields first. They, they know how to use them. Okay, so you guys <clears throat> get shields next. Alright, we're good there. Armor. Don't have any armor yet, so we got to get to working on armor. Alright. And we never did get that orc attack. Just remembered that. Maybe that'll happen this spring, but it, it didn't happen in year three, like I was expecting. Okay, you guys are in. We are buying like crazy. We are selling like crazy. We probably don't have anything to sell. Let's kick these priorities up and get these hauled. Um, sure, let's just fill it up. And it's kind of too late to be thinking about it suddenly, but why are we no longer making gears? We no longer have any blocks. We no longer have any blocks. Okay, so we get that going. That's good. Arrows are down here. All right, let's get those built. And did we increase the priority in these? That's why these didn't get built. Okay, we'll, do, we'll deal with that later. You, we've got plenty of bones, so I would like to make more of the arrows. And they're right here. They just need to be hauled. Okay, and the priority did get increased on these. What are you? This is for selling coal. That's an input. Oh, that's that's something else entirely. We're over here. Okay. So those who are free to haul, which needs to be specifically placed, you are a hauler as a backup. You're already haulers down here. What other profession? Blacksmith. I think that's our next most important as far as making armor and tools. Okay. And then hauling after that. We'll go with that setup for now. You guys... Let's add a fisherman to one of you. Fish it, then take it back and cook it. Otherwise... Okay, we'll add hauling just in case that helps move things around the kitchen. I think that's where we're going to sit for this wave. Just the basics. And we are building the pathways now. Good. Yeah. So now it feels like things are starting to happen. Um... Nothing's happened here, though. Let's cancel the demolish. They can officially walk through them. It's more aesthetic than anything. Even here, too. So that it doesn't somehow take away their ability to access these. Later, we'll deal with trying to get those removed. <clears throat> okay. What's happening over here? We have... Though I don't know what's been hauled away. Hemp seeds. What did you guys bring? You probably didn't bring any hemp seeds because I wasn't calling for it at the time. You didn't bring any seeds. That's interesting. There was hop seeds in there. Maybe I put that in after they were here last time. Um, so we do have lots of leather coming in. And we've got these guys coming in. Any of these on them? Yeah, we do have them. So it's just a matter of finding something to sell. Um, we've got a lot of bones. We really do. Your medium bones. Let's... Is there any repeats in here? Ah, oh, we have lots of shields to get rid of, too. You are gems. We have lots of block planes and rolling pins. Rolling pins. Block planes. Not so many block planes. All right. So block planes. Let's change you to small bones. Though... Okay, with fishing, we're always going to have plenty of small bones, aren't we? Yeah small. Let's turn those into uh, some quick coins. <clears throat> Making more Cassiterite. 
Otherwise, have we hauled blocks? We have. So who is our artisan? Are you? No. Artisan. We need Thora, who is very unhappy because she slept on the ground. You are eating wheat loaf bread. We still don't have any soups. Apparently it's happening. These keep changing. So they apparently cycled and then just not con continue with the next cycle. I'm going to watch through here for a little while. Though we lost our, uh, our artisan. Now, you are bringing wheat over. So you're grinding wheat. So uh, I worry that they're spending more time making breads than they are processing this area. I can't seem to get them into here. And those keep resetting themselves. Water's going in. Yeah, it's happening once it goes to the highest priority. Hmm. Anyway, over here, I see we're still dropping off goods. And we're hauling them away, too. So, may not really get a, an accurate count on, uh, on what we have bought. Other than seeing what's no longer in here. I think you came with four groups of four. You must have both done that. So in that case, we've only bought four. The so two. No. No, there's lots there. Okay. They're buying bones. They bought a shield. They bought a rolling pin. It's just a matter of us getting it to here to do it. And and I think everybody is busy, so only the dedicated haulers are actually doing it. That might be a thing. There are plenty of all of these other jobs, so they're not getting to the hauler tab. Let's take our farmers back down to hauling. We now have the five dedicated farmers. Just in case this helps us for this trade. Um, oh, you were a nothing. You were just a cook. Or a hauler and a fisherman. Okay. So you, back to hauling. Alright, so that takes care of all that. We still have four, five farmers. And we don't have any extra seeds coming in because they had nothing to sell us. So what we have, we have. And we're down to zero. So I think everything's been planted. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. So that is done. Now it's just a matter of doing the hauling jobs. Bringing things in, buying it, turning into coins. No coins are sitting on the ground. That's good. And four and two. One over there. If we wanted to get directly into this, we could tell them to stop selling us these and build up the money and buy some some linen. But I'd rather we made our own. Gives our our tailor something to do. That's down here. You are a loom and a loom. We hemp fiber. There's a hemp fiber waiting to be done. There's water and waiting. You in general. We have nine hemp waiting to go okay so we need wood is that what's stopping us i think it is you guys are all assigned that's six what was in there okay and the four two of those are assigned for a bed there's two and they're assigned for a pallet there's ten assigned for a bed a pallet more pallets there's four and they are assigned to a bed and another pallet. So all the wood that we have is assigned. So do you guys are leaving. We're done. What do we have in the way of let's see, that would be woodcutters. We have three woodcutters. You're collecting two of ten ingots instead of cutting wood. You're sleeping on <laughs> I think we missed a slot there and you're transferring water so we're not doing the wood cutting we're doing the hauling why is that the import pallets are now we've got well we've got more for room for more sycamore and you are sycamore okay that should be functioning but it's not and we have a backup one over here hmm I don't know I'm curious. 
see if we can break the log jam. I've noticed once I make any change in here, suddenly things start to work again. I wonder if that is the case, like for, for instance, if I were to, oh, oh, you're disabled because I was trying to empty you two out. All right, let's just kick you back up to the highest priority and see if suddenly things start to move again. That could be what happened. That could be. Any carp any wood cutters suddenly going to come to work? Hanging question mark. Not today they're not. <laughs> Let's check you this way. Woodcutters. Collecting two. Collecting four. Hauling deer hide. Okay. So I don't have the answer to that. Unless they've individually got several sets of orders queued up under their name. And they were queued up before I did this change. And we got to wait a little while. So, try to remember that. We've got soups out now, so that did work. Good. Let's make sure that these... Curious. I think I staggered these so that there would be more spaces. See the, the, the four red circles around it? By doing this, it gives more spaces available for each one so that they can hit it from any point. That was my, my reasoning there. Maybe more likely they're going to work with this one than that guy, which just has the one space left. Blocked, blocked, and blocked. But, don't know. That's just me thinking too hard. Nobody wants to do this. We're definitely still bringing logs over. But nobody wants to turn them into planks. Why is that? Yeah. The haulers are doing their jobs. Problem is the woodcutters are acting like haulers. So how do I make woodcutters act like woodcutters? Hmm. I opened this up thinking I put some more import pallets here to see if that shocked the system into saying, oh yeah, let's go make some more planks. All right, let's try that tactic, import. Do that, and I want you three built tomorrow morning first thing, and then we'll set you for planks and see if that works. Could also, Take you off of there for a while, let the game reset, and then put you back onto here and see if that shocks the system into working. Anything growing over here? No. All right, so what's going to happen down in here? Got our barracks area. Let's call it a barracks so it will function. Let's set up barrack beds. And let's give a space between each one so there's good access. Except we need 10. Hmm. Yeah. How do we get 10 in here? Well, temporarily, we're going to have to... Oh, we don't have beds for them anyway. They're probably quite angry. There's 10. 6 and 4. Okay. Get that going. And these guys don't have a happiness issue. So let's make sure that these beds are the ones that are getting built right now first priority for this linen but yeah we, we do need the uh, need the wood carried I think the wood is not getting delivered I think that's part of our issue right now we're not delivering the boards to get the system well I spoke too soon I spent a lot of time making guesses proving myself incompetent to be making guesses <laughs> you grab two but couldn't you put it on this one where there's already some linen? Um, oh, well, there's two fur planks out of four. And just kind of watching how things are going. If these suddenly start to build and these two don't, then we'll know there's an issue. Yeah, these are building now. This has been sitting there for a while without any, with only half of it assigned. Whereas you have got everything assigned. Okay. So what if I were to say, go away and try you again? The hemp is assigned, but there's no more planks. Now that we're moving planks, are we going to start cutting more? You guys, give me some more planks. Oh, I put the wrong one in there. 
Okay, stop that. No, don't, don't, don't. No more. All right, let's work on demolishing something that doesn't have anything already sitting in it versus one that does. Bone, demolish, demolish. Let's see if either of those gets done before the other. Kind of curious. Priority-wise, are they the same? You and you. There we go. So, though I, I don't think that's the demolish priority, but it makes me feel good when I do that. Anybody going to get to work on either one? Well, look at you. Somebody got the, the, the sawing bug and decided to go make a plank. So that would be a stonemason that's going to do this job. You're flashing. You're flashing. So apparently a couple of stonemasons finally got uh, free to go get some work done. You have bones in you. So you're flashing, but you can't do the work. No, you can with the bones in it. So they don't have to unload first. Okay, that's good to know. We took both of these out. Okay. So I was worried that they would have to unload it first, which meant, you know, since these are assigned to something, they had to get these built before they could unload it. So let's try one more time. You demolish, and you demolish, and you demolish. And immediately start flashing. Okay. So we must have gotten far enough down the queue to get to work on these things. So let's replace those. This time we're export pallets and out of stone. Any stone, sure. One, two, three. Okay. But they're all in bed, so can't prove anything now. All right, so you guys are down here. Let's get the civilian beds built first. I see we already have gotten one. The one they started bringing the supplies to. I'm hoping once we free this up, we're going to see two woodcutters out of three. Should we add a fourth? There was somebody without a job at the bottom, right? Who's at the very bottom of the list? You're a chef now. Hmm. And it could be that part of our problem is that we just don't have any dedicated haulers. All of them have another job ahead of time. Hmm. How are we looking out on fish? Fish barrel has none. We do have a fish fillet. But only one. So I can't necessarily say let's make the fishermen also or change the priority to hauling first. What are we waiting for? Uh, these three and these two. We got the one done. You are flashing. Is somebody going to come and do that? You are wood. So we need a carpenter to come and do that one. And I don't think there's a lot of carpenter jobs going on other than building beds. Carpentry is this guy. Um, leather. I think it's just this guy. This is woodcutter. Huh. Carpenters. We have three of those. And they are also... Okay, so you are stonemason first. You're the only real carpenter we have. And you are collecting, so you're doing the hauling job. Hmm. Hard to predict sometimes. Anyway, lots of food growing. Now, the food's not predictable by saying we had 700 and now we have 12 because they came with a big load of food. So that's no good, but we can see you're in trouble. You're in trouble. We do still have 5 of you and 12 of you. Okay, raining outside. Let's kick this guy back up, make sure those are being done. And make sure those are being hauled away. Otherwise, breads are cooking. Plenty out there to eat. So food-wise, we're still doing fine. Um, we were wanting to get more of the armor going. So let's kind of work through that system. Armor's here. We want you going. You kick you two up higher than the shields. In fact, we have plenty of shields now. We'll take you down like so. And actually, I was wanting to play with battle axes. Let's go there next. 
and you have got all that you need. You're at a higher priority. You have four, and someone just added more, so we have six of those. The armor takes just ingots, and it takes eight at a time. That's what's slowing us down. Okay. Meanwhile, you're going to go build a battle axe because we do have enough for that. I get ya. So, how you doing? You are making more iron at the moment. We've got one stack of each available. We did move that one out of there and Coke is in its place, so that's working fine. You, we don't have a lot of use for you anymore. Not making things that require that at the moment. You're available for iron, so let's make you available for tin. Oops, that's not it. There, tin. So we have a space for each one. That did work? Got there just in time. Nope, you're iron. Okay, well, broke that one. Let's switch you over to tin. And make you iron before that causes a conflict. So there's always a space to unload this guy. So we'll end up with two irons and tin, you know, plugging it up and nowhere to put them. By just saying any. You are an export for this system, which we're not really using that much of anymore. Don't need any more chests. Buckets and barrels, we want to check our inventory of those, but we're fine on all of this stuff. To me, that is early trading, but we don't have a lot of use for you know, large quantities of those sort of things. Buckets and barrels, what are we looking at for those? Uh, resources, products, barrels, we have four available, but not being used. And buckets, we have four available, not being used. Okay, are they where we want them to be? I see you're just sitting over there. Oh, I no longer have my uh, stockpiles for for uh, buckets. Okay, let's... Do I have one available at all? Used to be one out here somewhere. There. So that guy right there, let's plus you, put you down there, and specify that that is for buckets, highest priority. Get bucket near the, near the water for fires. Same thing as there. Same thing up in here, a couple of buckets. Still 32 water. Got our water barrel over there for drinks and for cooking. We've got food and everything. We've got food over here. Kitchen's working great now. Good news. You can go back. Hey, our fun golem's gone. Our fun golem's gone. Really? I had to see that twice. That really surprised me. Our rotted gray fungalum, or tofu golem, that took forever to get rid of. I wonder if someone on the dev team saw what we were going through and said, okay, let's 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 go fix that. Let's add rot. <laughs> anyway, good. So we never he never moved to that little stockpile for corpses that I placed up there. I wonder if rebuilding these two somehow made it work again. I wonder if the problem wasn't here, but it was here. That could be, and I'm not seeing the uh, the other bug of the, the butchers just constantly cycling through here anymore. Awful rusted knife. How are the knives doing? Ah, uh, not you. Right there. We've got tools. Kitchen knives. Six are available. So when this awful rusted one turns into a pile of dust they'll just go grab another one no idea where to find them there so they all landed down in here okay and any tools just kind of sitting around needing a home no nope. not uh not just throwing things around anymore doing a good job of bringing them all in good um do we send anybody out hunting and do we need to take a good look at our military Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Where is everybody? They're on day shift now, so they're not sleeping. Um, plenty of training dummies and targets, though these are not going to work. I was playing a separate save just to uh, you know, get more of the game in than I was able to by making a series. Noticing here. And they kept shooting each other and killing each other. Once they get really good with the arrow, they just have to hit somebody accidentally one time right through the heart. They're gone. I was losing dwarves, so that wasn't going to work. Um, this room in here, hmm, three different colors. Although that is kind of interesting. I was going to make a 
an eating area for these guys. And you've got to work hard to bring special colored blocks over to build, you know, flooring that is of a certain design. It's already designed for us. Let's think about that. Dining room, rooms, feasting hall. You're over here somewhere. If we were to feasting hall right in here, just to get this table, like so, or do we table there? Hmm. Now we'll do that. And let's put a serving table here. And then... Um... That's not working for me. You need to go away. I need you to turn the other direction. Like that. So that this guy can... Go in here. Now I'm going to lose one space no matter what. I guess you go there. Okay, because I need room for cauldrons. And one cauldron is probably enough. Actually, you know it probably is. Let's do that instead. Right there. You go away. So food and chairs. And bread and food. We, I think one will be enough. We'll keep the majority of the of the eating up in here. Hmm. We have enough cauldrons already. Four. Don't we? How many cauldrons do we have? That would be a product. Yeah. We only have four, and they're all in use. Okay. Well, let's set a cauldron. As soon as I say we don't have any use for plate for plates anymore, let's set a cauldron in here. And you use plates, don't you? Right there. No, you use ingots. No plates in here. Plates are for tanks only. Are plates used anywhere in uh, armor? No. So only for tanks. So, I guess we should just make plates, or make tanks and start selling them. Yeah. No more plates. Stop that. Yeah, plenty. Okay, making a... Another axe. Okay. Oh, we have an armor. It's working. Okay, so I need one cauldron. And we have... I guess it's going to be a tin cauldron. Let's go for two cauldrons. And let's go ahead and set two meals down here. Right there. Uh, where to? Where to? Where to? There. Here. I guess here would be fine. Yeah. They can. They have three spaces around. They have two spaces around. Yeah. So I need two more cook areas. Cook stoves up in here. Um, getting a little crowded, but... They can still get to that one, and I suppose we could drop one right in there. Actually, let's go there. Yeah, you aren't actually a space. You just got dropped off. I think you're fine, though. That bucket really does need to get hauled to the bucket storage. There we go. Okay, so you guys should default to the highest priority. Because the kitchen is the highest priority, though some of these don't, and I don't understand why that is. You are all needing to get brought back. Gotta keep an eye on that. That's the one part of the kitchen system that seems to fail, is it always defaults to normal on me. Uh, cauldrons, did that happen yet? Let's set that up. That's why it didn't, get hap why it didn't happen yet. So next time a blacksmith is available, they should see that first. Going to bed. We are day 10, so we have run a full season. We'll go another day or two, and then we'll call this one done. I put a poll up on my channel asking for your guys' input. Um, walls, doors, to... I've got three games I'm running right now. I'm running Stranded Alien Dawn, I'm running Mountain Core, and I'm running Forever Skies. And I was hoping to have had one 
of you know at least uh, stranded alien dawn done before i got to forever skies but timing didn't work out that way i'm still renovating at home and that's still taking a lot of my extra time so my normal pattern is to do one game at a time or in this case cycle them so stranded then mountain core then forever skies then back to stranded but if there's one particular game that is your favorite, then only getting one episode seems like it's not enough to really satisfy the urge to enjoy that game. I'm looking at an empty thing here. So would you like me to do two episodes of each at a time, or three episodes of each at a time, then get three of Mountain Core in a row, then three, you know, Stranded Alien Dawn in a row? But then, if there's a particular game that you're liking, it's going to be a long time before your game comes back around. So each of them, each of those choices has a positive and negative to it. We've gotten rid of that one. And these two. So that finally worked. So that pull is on there. Weigh it carefully. There's advantages and disadvantages to each choice. So far, it is headed toward one of each and just keep cycling. Which is the easiest? Well... Actually, not easiest. Easiest would be to do two episodes in a sitting, but it's best to only do one so you guys get a chance to put comments in between. So there is that. We've got a bunch of boards kind of hanging around. Something has failed, and I don't know what it is. You are not aiming for anything at the moment, but things are getting built. You're all assigned now. Good. You are three available. Maybe that's part of it. We don't have enough of each log to really get them going. Um, let's go cut down some random logs of different types of trees. So we'll say five of you guys which are the same as these. These are different. So one, two, Three, four, five of you guys, and you are oak, you are sycamore, and you are baobab, and you are aspen. You know, one way to get a whole... No, I take that back. I was going to say one way to get rid of a lot of blocks is to go build a bridge. But we've got to get uh, 32, 42 of the exact same kind. That's not easy. So that will lock them up for a long, long time. So we'll skip that plan. So we're not going to go for those, and I can't see any of the trees anymore. Though we did have some random trees over here, like this guy. You are old enough to be dropping uh, seedlings. So let's take you out and cut you. I'll let you drop some more ceilings. There's one right there. And... Uh, we'll cut you as well. You are a fir tree. As far as I know, it's just the two, right? Yeah, I don't remember there being fir up in here. There might be fir much further away. No. No. I wish this little light at the end of my mouse was a lot brighter. There's fur up in here. Ah, the sun's coming back. We have no other fur. Interesting. We have a bunch of these guys. We have... That looks like spruce. Yeah, that's spruce. If I ever see that, I think of a blue spruce. I like those trees. Yeah, that is the only fur on the map right here. So, need to let you grow up, make babies over here, and get a little fur production going on. Though I could take you out just to help any... Yeah, we'll take you to... Oh, what just happened? I don't know. Hey, when that happens, notification happens just as you click. I've had that happen a few times uh, on my own. It's either a void that just got opened, or, boy, I wish I knew what that was. We could be being attacked by orcs right now, and I have, or 
we could have traders coming in. Okay, that's early. We had a spring already, now we have a summer coming. Wow. Cool. But when orcs attack, they'll, there'll be a notification like that that pops up too. Which still hasn't happened. Okay, military. I'm just kind of bouncing all over the place. I want you, military. Okay, let's get the original guys armored up. And one more, Sigrun. And then we're into our four newbies who are not training. Why are they not training? I don't know that answer. You do have your hammer. Why are you not training? Uh, military, because we're set to attack something that doesn't exist anymore. Okay, get in there and get trained up. There you go. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's go hit something. <laughs> yeah, hey, this is working now. Good. We got the hemp ball delivered, but we're not getting any... Oh, we are progressing. All right, so let's expand this. I think that is a bottleneck. Let's fill you into there and to there. And let's get a few more of you guys built. Tank there, uh, tank there, and tank there with walkways around it. Let's speed you up. Only four per, so that should grab some of these random blocks still sitting around. Give them a purpose in life. Smooth wall, smooth wall, basalt door. There doesn't seem to be anything that isn't assigned. They're just not doing the job because the assignment is probably set to a normal priority. So like this, that's probably why. So they're not getting to it. So let's do that. And then when they can't get to some of these, we'll have the problem. Okay, so you actually, you three, need to be at the lowest priority until you get built and then just back our way out of it from there so unfortunately same way with you so you're down to there too i need to get that built so they're quickly bringing all, all the things over but i need this one built first so hopefully that shifts the queue around and that happens in that order Are you bring into this one you're not how about you there you go and now you're heading to... There's more coming down. You went to go get a knife? Chisel. So you can go build it. Or build something. Okay, that one's there. That was at the highest priority. So is this one. But you're going to bed. <laughs> you don't have a chisel? Nope. You have more stuffs. You have more stuffs. Bringing the stuffs over. Okay. For making more arrows. Right there. Okay, well, it's nice to see things happen once you queue them up. It lets you know it is all still working if you're patient. Food is starting to run out. At least we're getting space in there. We still have that same perch fillet. So I don't know if we have any fishing going on or not. We have apparently a lot of hunting. Oh, we finally went and got all those boars to butcher. And we have a fish there. So we are fishing. Okay. And so hides are coming down and they're not being stored because that got set to a normal. Okay. And you are deer. You are nothing at the moment. So that should be a good space for all the boar to get brought in. And by setting that, it does not translate. Interesting. There's no order to haul it. Why is that? Okay, let's set you to nothing. Then let's set you to leather. Oh, leather. This is the hide. Okay, that's what's wrong. So I need... I need you built. Removing other items. Let's kick you up and get you built. And let's get you built. Yeah. So we need to get all of the hides hauled into this room so we can start turning them into leather. Okay. So that's important. Did the wall get built? It did not. Anybody assigned? It's under construction. I don't think these flash when they're ready to be built. Unlike other things that deal. How long have I been recording? Hour five. 
uh, something went away. That was... Well, whatever it was. Let's bring it in. <laughs> Your leather going out. Oh, you did. You got built. Okay, kick you up. Get you built next. Any other situations like that that they can't get to them? Don't think so. Let's kick you up. Kick you up. You're all available. These are already up, but we're probably waiting for stones to be built and are created now. Blocks. Because we're finally using up all the existing ones. Okay. So that is... Your guys are, your guys are pipes. I don't need any more pipes right now. Let's take you down. You up. You stone up. The existing ones have a variety in them, which does tend to bug them out a bit until the variety goes away. So they're fine. But all of that should queue up a number of workers. There we go. Yep, you're all good. So it's just a matter of waiting for a stone mason to... My mouse pad moved around on me. Uh, stone mason. Only two of them available. Eating and collecting a tin chisel. So there's some stone masonry about to happen. But it would be nice to get another stone mason going. The kitchen. Did that work? Kind of. I mean, we are doing the job. Can I pull one cook out of here is what's just went through my mind. I think I'm going to. Um, what does that really mean? Is there somebody who... Yeah, we... You're the least experienced Aslog, so let's change you to a dedicated stonemason. Okay, you're hauling anyway, so that you, there wasn't anything else for you to cook. We are day 13. I should wrap this up soon, though I think hour-long videos should be kind of the norm when I can. Now, unlike St Stranded Alien Dawn, which I basically just do two days in a row, however long they are. But uh, bread and soups are all landing in here. But this one, yeah, and uh, um, Forever Skies could take those two a little over an hour since it's only every third video I'm going to get to do each of these games. So I'll let them run a little bit longer. There was a time long ago when I was running three or four games and I was putting out two or three episodes a day. And then there were you know, 20, 30, 40 minute episodes and I could crank out several in an evening and get them edited and rendered through the night and release them the next morning. But that isn't a thing anymore. What else is happening here? So you are the next one and we need stone. Okay. So... What will it take to get the stone happening? So everybody's sleeping. Let's wait till tomorrow morning and see what happens. We are at 3.30 in the morning. And you guys had been here. I forgot about you. Yeah. You, you guys need to be hauled. Get you. You're not queued up to haul. That's a problem. This time it, it broke. Darn. Yep. So, disable, disable, and then highest priority, highest priority, didn't happen. Okay, then let's highest priority treasure into this one, specifically coins, and did that do any good? Yes. So that got them in the queue again. And once they're moved, I think I can disable that. Turn you back off. Highest priority. Turned off. You're still on. And... No, you're not. So now they don't want to go back into the chest. I wonder if a game restart would fix that. I think I... I think I better just call this done here then. We are a little over an hour for this episode and maybe when I restart next time we'll still see if these guys automatically get a priority status over the top of them and get brought back to this guy where they belong. But it could be that something like that just a, a, you know, a momentary bug works into the system and it 
you know, if, if you've tried turning it off, turn it back on again. <laughs> you ever watch that that show? The what is it? The IT crowd? Is that what it was called? Um, that quite often fixes things. Anyway, calling this one finished for now. Thanks for watching, folks, and catch you next time. Bye bye.